Hey guys, this is Hafiz. Today we are going to look at a problem with the trailer. If you ever notice your trailer is sitting on tires and uh, the tires are touching to the floor, you can't drive like that because uh, the tires uh, are gonna rub against the floor and they're gonna blown out. So uh, you need to solve this problem before you drive. If you're driving empty, then uh, you may get some air into the airbags. And if you're driving loaded, then you're not having any air. So that could be also a problem with the air leveling valve or some air leak issues. So we are going to diagnose the uh, problem with this trailer. So uh, if you get under the trailer, you're gonna find out uh, what's going on with that. So in my case, I can hear some air leak and uh, it could be the the broken airline or some uh, valve or brake chamber so we're going to diagnose it so i found massive air leak in the main supply valve uh, that connects to the air tank If you have leak from the small rubber area, that means it's a brake chamber. If it's from the big rubber, that means the main valve is bad. So in my case, it's both. I bought this valve from the dealer by giving a wind number and they gave me the wrong one. So I need to take a picture and go back to the dealer and buy the white one again. So I just bought this valve from the dealer again, the utility dealer, and they gave me the right one, I think. Uh, it have the ABS on the top, and uh, the valve looks the similar, which I'm going to compare side by side. And uh, also, it's a plastic piece, cost me around five hundred and fifteen dollar plus tax. So, so my recommendation is, whenever you buying uh, the part, take picture and make sure it's the same. Even you give them the win number, they might have customized it and changed it over time. And you want to make sure you don't waste your time. As you can see, it's so easy to replace this air valve. There's a few bolts connecting to it. Uh, these airlines are connecting with the small uh, bolts, which you can open with the adjustable wrench and uh, a couple uh, airlines that you need to disconnect and uh, then you have to disconnect this uh, valve from the tank which is uh, very easy and you can use the adjustable wrench so you don't need special tool just adjustable wrench and uh, uh, some time and also before you remove the valve make sure you match uh, the one that you uh, bought a new one and don't remove it before you make sure that you have the right one The trick to remove the airlines is whenever you using their just a branch, uh, you must uh, spin the airlines with it, so it's gonna make it faster and easier. And uh, also uh, make sure when you're removing the airlines, uh, just uh, put some zip ties on it. As you can see, we already have some zip ties on it. Uh, wherever you remove it, just make sure you put it back on the same spot. So. Uh, you can uh, put some marks or you can separate them which one goes at the bottom and uh, which one goes on the top so this uh, small airline that you see uh, we are opening is uh, for the airbags and uh, uh, the other ones that you see the black ones they are, are linked to the uh, brake chamber so one is a uh, supply and the other one is a return so make sure that you put them on the right spot so the one goes on the top stays on the top and the one goes at the bottom you put zip ties on it just to separate that from each other the most important part when you replacing the air valve is uh, to dump all the air from the trailer uh, before you even open the airlines but uh, when you're removing the valve from the tank uh, don't remove it 
before you do that make sure that you drain all the air from the tank because even there's no air coming from the valve there's a check valve that's stopping the air but uh, there's still a lot of air in the tank and uh, if you try to remove the valve it's gonna come out like a bullet so So if you remove this valve before you drain the tank, it's going to be very dangerous and uh, you can get hurt with that process. So don't do that and uh, make sure you drain all the air from the tank. So the blue line is a service line and uh, the red line is uh, supply uh, just make sure you put them at the right spot when you're moving it uh, just take a picture and just uh, follow the steps and uh, the black airlines are for the brake chambers and uh, one uh, two airlines are for the uh, return and two are for supply so uh, uh, you already have zip tie them and separate them and you put on the right spot and whenever you uh, Putting these lines or fittings on make sure you don't over tight it because you have a plastic air valve and you can uh, crack it By adding a T, we are con making a connection to the airbags and the airbags will be getting all the air from this valve. So basically everything related to the brakes and the uh, air is uh, through this valve. So if this valve goes bad, everything goes down. So the air valve is on, everything is connected and uh, we just uh, release the air and time to test the air valve if it's, uh, uh, it's working properly. As you can see my airbags are up and also my brakes they were unlocked and I made sure that uh, I have no air leak through the valve or anywhere else. So. In my case the problem is solved and uh, my trailer is not touching the tires and I don't have any risk of blowing the tires so uh, thank you so much guys thank you so much for watching the video and please uh, subscribe the channel like the video and share with your friends and uh, I will see you in the next one till then have a nice day thank you